All right, so now that we have finished the plan risk management process here in the sixth edition of PM City and the crowd training, let's go through and review the inputs, outputs, tools, and techniques. All right, first, starting with, of course, the inputs. We have to plan how we're going to manage the risks of the project, so we have to know, well, essentially what's the project goal and objective, and so I'm going to try to draw the charter here. So this is our project charter, which, as you remember, is kind of telling us everything that we need to do and why and uh, and not necessarily in terms of all the scope, but it is at least giving us the indication of what the project is meant to do and why. So our project charter is one <clears throat> input and the other input would be all the other plans. So if we're going to try to plan out what could go right or could go wrong in our project, well, we have to know the rest of the project management plan. You know, things like, well, what's the schedule management plan? What are the human resource plans? Or now we call just resource plans. So physical, you know, could anything go wrong with the equipment or not work? Or uh, the humans that we're <laughs> employing to do our work, is it going to work? Is it not going to work? Or could there be conflicts? So all the different plans that are in our project management plan is definitely an input. Also, uh, there is various different documents that we're going to be using. You know, things like the schedule and um, I'm going to write the word docs here. Things like the stakeholder registry, right? If you're in all the other stakeholder kind of information that we're, we've documented about them, what uh, is their impressions? What's their expectations? How much tolerance are they willing to accept in terms of uh, the risks and rewards? And then we are a product of our environment. So the project that we work in and the place and the culture, all those different factors, you know, our enterprise environmental factors are definitely part of the equation and are going to be a major influence and there could also be templates that we must or sh or we should follow so i'm trying to draw a big binder here or there's many documents or templates that we're going to use maybe it's about uh, what terminology we have to use or ratings or maybe a certain chart or where we put the chart maybe it has to f be filed in a certain location and the policy is this or that. So those various different organizational process assets. Now, those are the inputs. Let's go to some of the tools and techniques. Now, <clears throat> we're probably going to have some meetings. We're going to talk it over um, informally, formally. Maybe we'll have a presentation or maybe we're just going to work through the details as we discuss. Um, and that could be with the PMO, it could be with the project team, it could be with the stakeholder or other stakeholders, however it might be, but there could be a series of meetings to plan out the risk management. <clears throat> and also, a lot of times we just kind of know or we've seen it before. This is how our organization works or um, so what I'm trying to draw here is a person thinking, but I don't think it's really coming out. <laughs> but um, that's, uh, that's just kind of they're thinking or they know or they uh, have done this before so they can kind of instruct or point to people a certain way and you know that that this is just you know our expert judgment all right and then um, a lot of times we have to make sense of, of what's going on in our you know our, our understanding of our stakeholders and our, our risks and and so we, we take a look, we look at the markets, we look at the various different information that have at our disposal. So that's like taking a look at the data. So it's data analysis. And there's various different types of analysis that we can employ. So it obviously depends on which industry you're in and what group you're working in and what kind of project you are on. All right, so pretty simply, those are the tools and techniques. And then finally, we'll review the outputs as we already went through the whole entire course here about risk management and this process, the risk management or planning of the plan, the risk management. And <laughs> if you're planning risk management, well, your output should be a risk management plan. So I'll just draw a big buy or a big plan here. But actually, since it's falling in our project management plan, I like to better draw it as a big file folder because it is one of those big folders or files that are in our big overall project management plan. 
But what could be included in this risk management plan? Uh, could we might list out or uh, modify the expectations in terms of the methods, or even our expectations of you know maybe the timing, like how often should we have said meetings and uh, throughout not just you know the, when we're planning it, but throughout the managing of the risk throughout our project uh, maybe even to the definitions like should we call it you know classify it in a certain way you say is it internal versus external or do we list it by product or do we do a different rating system and categorizations all those different considerations are part of our management plans again it's how we plan to manage the risks of the project it's not necessarily saying the uh, d doing identified risks or something else within this process. It's, well, how should we go about identifying the risks? How often should we go to about di identify the risk? Who should do this? How should we categorize it? How should we um, talk about it? Maybe even if in that sense, you know, what, what roles do we have? Roles and responsibilities. Um, maybe there is... Um, you know, some uh, reporting structure that needs to be understood. Uh, maybe there's even some funding indications about how things should be paid or um, applied to handle the risks and how much tolerance are we willing to take and costs are we willing to uh, take on as per our risks of the project. So again, that's a quick review of the inputs, outputs, tools, and techniques of the planned risk management from the crowd training. Mm -hmm.